This is the G Podcast with your host, Tommy B. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to episode 236 So this is the G Podcast. What's up? What's up, y'all? You know we do it. Each week we do news, politics, pop culture, that piping out tea from the one and only Tanya B, man. And, and you know what? Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Let's go ahead and, and start with this. A community vigil and a night of prayer was the response to yet another mass shooting. This one left four people dead, another nine injured. The 14-year-old shooter is in custody. This shooting was at a high school in Winder, which is located in Barrow County between Atlanta and Athens. Of those that were, have, are deceased, two were students and two were teachers here at the, at the school. That's Chris Hosey from the GBI. Last night, Governor Brian Kemp traveled to Winder. I would just ask all Georgians and all Americans to continue, continue to keep these families, these educators, and these students in your thoughts and prayers. According to various reports, the shooter is a student at Appalachia High School, the scene of the horrific event. The GBI says the teenage suspect had been investigated for making school shooting threats last year, but was not arrested. We also now know that an AR-style platform weapon was used. The White House issued a statement about the shooting, and President Biden said in part, we cannot continue to accept this as normal. While on the campaign trail in New Hampshire, Vice President Kamala Harris echoed the president's thoughts. We have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. Yeah, and uh, later, of course, the father was... uh bought in for questioning and eventually arrested. Here we go. The father of the teen suspected in the Georgia school shooting has been arrested, according to GBI Director Chris Hosey. The suspect's father, Colin Gray, is charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter, two counts of second-degree murder, and eight counts of cruelty to children, according to the GBI. And this is uh, as of Friday. A hearing was held this morning for 14-year-old Colt Gray, the teen accused of killing four people and injuring nine others during a mass shooting Wednesday at Appalachia High School, which is located just outside of Winder. His first hearing and his father's hearing both took place today. The father and son declined to enter a plea. Hey, Vi, I'm going to go to you first, but I got to say this, man. To the national news, will y'all stop saying Winder? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> damn. I mean, come on. I mean, did nobody... I, that just blew my mind. I, I know I live in Georgia, and I know where Winder is because it's not far from Athens. But somebody, <laughs> somebody, I mean, it was like day two. So anyway, I, I, I have to say that. Okay, go ahead, Bob. What, do you, what are your thoughts? I am Kamala, it. it doesn't have to be this way. Why is it even legal for you? Why is it even legal for you to be able to purchase an AR weapon? Why that is legal? Because AR weapon is only meant for one thing, kill people. It's the only thing you can, that is the only thing you can use the AR weapon for, is to kill people. That's it. So why well, are you in the legal? military? You're in the military 30, 30 hey, years. That's okay, so those are the weapons that we trained with M16. Yeah. So why are that? Why is that legal for part of purchase? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it don't have to be this way. I yeah. think for us to be the most civilized country in America. I'm pretty sure we have more school killing than anybody in the world. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, not so even not, close. I mean, so, yeah. No, uh, yeah. 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 I'm so, going to go, to, I'm, I'm go, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead and wrap up. Go ahead. So go ahead. I get sick of tired of hearing her talking about pray for the family. That's your answer. Yeah. I'm a God fearing man myself. But for the people to say that, and y'all make it easy to purchase guns, no, do something else besides pray for the family. All right, let me go. Let me go to you, Talib. What, what are your thoughts, man? I think that you know, it's times like this we always feel like this is like a war-torn country. You know what I mean? And yeah. just to here we are again. Here we are again. You know, and what's so crazy about this t this time in particular is there are like four other schools here in in the um, in the uh, in, in Georgia, you know, yeah. that are, that have also now been on high alert. You know, they've yeah. they've had about, I think it's like four, somewhere between four and six arrests mm -hmm. of other 12 to 14 year old children who were looking to commit some kind of gun violence at their school. Yeah. I mean, what, 
And they, one kid they one kid they got, he said he did it because it was funny. It wasn't serious. Funny. That's what funny. He said. That, that, so now that's what they asked when it so, that's what they asked when they arrested him. After so, this just happened this week. He so, said so, he thought it was funny. That's why he did. So we're yeah, raising yeah. psychopaths mm -hmm. now. So, pretty well, much. Definitely. Well, definitely. And and we're and we're cool with this in the in the name of the Second Amendment. This is not Man. what the Second Amendment is talking about, y'all. No. I think y'all need to. I think these people really need to go back and read the Second Amendment. The yeah. Second Amendment does not. Mm -mm. Come on, y'all. I need to. I need to. You know, this country is so full of hypocrisy. It's 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 sickening. And this. I'm gonna is stop you. I'm gonna stop you example. there, Tlaib, and 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 I'm gonna come back to you, Anvi. But I wanna. You know, some of the details, I don't know if Mike really covered a lot of the details yet. Four dead, nine injured. Uh, they do expect the uh, the nine injured to fully recover for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you've got the 14-year-old who's facing life without parole. He cannot get the death penalty because he's a minor now. Uh, he will be tried as an adult. His, his dad, 54-year-old, uh, you know, not even going to say his name on the podcast. Please. Four counts of involuntary uh, manslaughter, two counts of second-degree murder, uh, eight counts of cruelty to children. And, and the interesting thing about this is the father knowingly allowed the son to possess a weapon. Even after last after. year, last year they had visited his home based on a tip, based on some things he was saying, in a in a uh, in a game room, uh, I think it may have been Discord. You know, one of these groups that he was involved in. He was talking about doing this, and and he was also connected to using names of previous uh, shooters. Um, you know, he was tied into this culture of you know previous mass shooters, uh, and he was 13 then. So so now we're looking at what two 14 year olds are dead, two teachers are dead. Eight of the nine folks that are actually injured are students, and one teacher was wounded. So, so from from my standpoint, and you mentioned uh, what's going on in other areas. I mean, I live in a county where we've had this week eleven arrested in three days. That's what I'm talking about. So it's eleven. Eleven now. arrested. It's eleven. Now. Yeah, eleven arrested in three days. This is just based on this. Yes. You know, uh, uh, one kid took uh, over in Henry County. Uh, Woodland High School had actually taken the gun to school. And, and you know, the, the whole thing is it's a crisis. And and this is one of the main reasons why, I'll be honest with you, it's difficult for me to ever vote for the party who sees this as business as usual. Oh, they say, uh, they, but, the, but the man said it's, 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 it's a way of life. Really? It's a way of life. And, and, and see, you know why it's a way of life? Because you allow it to be you a way of life. You allow it to be a way of life. Right. And see, I want to point out. Not go, only go allow it, encourage it. Encourage it. Yeah. Encourage. encourage it. Encourage it. Because the dad, you know, there was probably some bullying going on. And the dad bought him this gun and say, you know, son, I'm not going to. He probably said, you know, son, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm going to tell you that uh, if you need help, I'm giving it to you. That's probably what he told him mm. Christmas Day when he gave him this gun. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. But but here, here's my point, and, and I go to your point, Vi. Um, if you recall during the Clinton administration, there was a ban on assault weapons. And this shit calmed down for a while. And then you had Bush get into office, and Bush allowed the ban to, be to expire and be lifted. So, you know, again, I, I mean, it's, it's just difficult for me to understand a party that knows that there are things that you can do. You can ban AR-15s. I'm with you totally by reinstating the ban on assault weapons, high capacity magazines. That shit needs to be done. Red flag, the red flag laws when you know that you actually a year ago, <laughs> you know, met with this family. Go ahead, by. And why aren't the police saying something? They should be saying the same thing. But you know what? Assault weapons. Yeah. I, I agree. And and then you got, you know, the universal background checks. Um, you know, right now the U.S. has more guns than people. Go figure. You know, but you can't increase the funding for mental health. You can't make the school safer, which, you know, if I if, if I'm looking at making airports safer, as you've seen, and uh, you know, they have the new technology where you can actually I don't know if you guys have heard about it, the technology that can actually uh, find guns when you like you, you walk through not just the magnetometer mm -hmm. 
but they have the technology, the camera technology, the digital technology that can actually find guns. I don't know. I mean, I think it's gotten to a point where you got to at least have a magneton, a magnetometer, or a, 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 what do you call it? Whatever you want to call it, in every school. That just doesn't make sense to me. And and you got to ask, how did the guy get the gun back into the school? He left the classroom, went back, went out somewhere, and got the gun. Who did not see this kid? Le- Who's monitoring the cameras? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like kids in the hallway. So they have, so they have that kind of security system in, in their school. Just let me tell you, just about every school, because I have kids in school. Okay, I, you know, so I, I, I deal with this. I mean, one of the things we don't, you know, we're not going to do the bus thing. You, mm. you drop off, pick up, and and the whole thing is, if you're an involved parent, you know that most of these schools have cameras in the hall. You can see when somebody's in the hallway. This, you know, you. Somebody in the office, in the main office, sees that person. I mean, there's, there's, there's got to be – there's camera footage that they're probably not going to show. Maybe because one reason uh, could be because, it's, you know, it's too gruesome. And, and also they probably don't want to show it because it's embarrassing. Some people going to get fired. They don't need to be fired. Shit. But I, 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 I do your job. I just think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back do, to you. Your job. I'm going to go do back to you by – in a minute, but I got to say this, man, the way this thing started with the press conference um, with the sheriff and, and the GBI, they know a whole lot more than they're releasing at this point. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of uh, white supremacist crap going on that they have not released from his social media I wouldn't be surprised if the father has some of that because the first thing the sheriff came out and said was hate will not prevail. Now, you know, because, you know, of course, when somebody shoots or has a shooting, you want to call that hate. But I think there's more to this. And I think we're going to find out over the next couple of weeks. I think we're going to be talking about a whole lot more. And it's it was just, a messed up family. Yeah, Go ahead. But I said the mom, they got so many federal indictments over her right now for mm-hmm. for selling what, drugs. They said yeah. she she's in trouble right now. Yeah. Oh, I think they said she got a she got she got sentenced for so many years, but they put a time served and gave her like twenty four months of probation or something like that. Yeah. I'll go to you too late. Well, you know, right, that's what they do when Caucasians get um <laughs> <laughs> arrested for, you know, selling right. drugs or something like that. You know, they, okay, well, you know, we'll be nice yeah. about it and we're, we're going to do that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll lessen your time and all that. Um, because hey, but then, then it's a, then it's a, it's a mental health crisis. Oh yeah, exactly. Or, or, yeah. you know, this, he just deserves another, he deserves a break. He deserves a break. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank God they arrested the dad. You yeah. know what I mean? Thank you. Because, yes. listen, if anybody shows up to my house talking about my uh, law enforcement comes to my house wanting to ask my son some questions, I'm I'm pulling the belt off immediately while the officer yeah. is there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And dare them yeah. to say something. You know? Yeah. Let alone what, buying buying him a gun after that. Yeah. After you're under investigation, come on, this is you know yeah I, I'm I'm inclined to to think what you're thinking, Thomas, because you know l- we are we're in the midst of kids children being radicalized right now. Yes, we are. You know, hey, but this is that what I'm, that's what this hang is. On, hang what, on, this hang is, on. We'll come to you, by. That's what this ahead, is all about, me. and that's what I'm seeing. You know, as as what's coming next. You know, it's these chat rooms, it's these discords, it's that's what they're going to be starting to come for now. Because where are these kids getting these, uh, you know, that this is the answer? Who's hyping these kids up in the background? You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. if it's the parents, you know, well, you know, okay, that's one source, but it's it's got to be more than that. Because they've already been talking about, you know, what this guy is, you know, so-called is his where his uh, manifesto has been so far, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah they're 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 already. I mean, 
come on. And he was already on the radar. They should have, uh, I'm surprised they didn't have him, uh, you know, under heavier surveillance, you know, than, than this. Because when they, when they start getting these, if, they, if they're coming to this kid a year ago, that means that they've been watching him for about two years. Yeah. Yeah, they knew something before. I'm gonna go at that point. Let's let's go to you, Vi, and and we'll close this out. Go ahead. It's Vi. like that TikTok that either you or how we get sent it. Why aren't we talking about how the parents are raising their kids? Because they're white parents. Why are yeah. we talking about how they're raising their kids? Because they're the white kids that's doing this kind of stuff. So we're not talking about. We're just talking about the kid. Why are we not looking to be white people, parents, white folks, homes, and saying, "How are you raising your kid to think it's okay to go kill somebody?" Like, yeah. the, like the guy said, if my son comes to school with his braids in, he start getting raised right. I mean, but these kids are actually bringing a gun. And we think it's okay. It's not okay for your kid to bring a gun to school. It's not. So why isn't it, why are we talking about the talking to, talking about the parents saying, why are these kids think it's okay to bring a, school, a gun to school? Yeah. You know, Vi, Vi let me say this, man. And, and this is where, because cause we live in Georgia, okay? Um, I know exactly where Winder is, you know, because, you know, if you if you have kids or you go to UGA, you go to Athens, it's, it's just, you know, around the block from Athens. It's not far from, from Athens, Georgia, okay? Um, and, and it's far, what, less than within an hour of the city of Atlanta. So it's, it's, it's almost not metro, but it's within the general area of Atlanta. You know, as a matter of fact, they, they airlifted one of the, the shootings, shooting victims to Grady Hospital, which is in downtown Atlanta, which is a whole nother problem that this governor has with all these hospitals closing. But we're not yeah. going to get into that on this podcast. It's literally 50 um, minute, but, but, a 50 minute drive. Yeah, which is crazy. So so and, and, and again, you know, a lot of this with a lot of these people who are in power, they know these people. And quite frankly, I think they understand the culture. They understand because you can see their faces when they go on the camera and and definitely they want to show empathy and sympathy for the victims. But I do believe that they know what the issues are, but they don't want to come out and say it because it confirms a lot of what we've been saying all along. You're exactly right. What the, the lady was talking about, the culture in terms of, you know, how the white boys are treated versus how they come after black families when something goes wrong. It's night and day. Mm -hmm. And 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 there's a problem when you go back to, what is it, Columbine? Mm. And you look at who the mass shooters are. I mean, I don't have to say it. I don't have to say it on the podcast. Y'all know what it is. So if you know that's happening, where's the program? The other thing is, I, I just, you know, Vance... And this, you know, that's just part of life. how it is. Life, what? you know, is is just if I'm a Democrat, if if I'm part of the you know Kamala's campaign, I'm running that commercial. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> taking that clip, and I'm running it around the clock. I don't know why. You got to play hardball with these people. You can't. You got to. I mean, I I would go to Sandy Hook. I'd go to Parkland. I'd get the people who are in charge of these organizations because the Sandy Hook and Parkland, uh, they, they have become a pack pretty much. They're a political action committee right now. And I love how active they've become, you know, based on losing their children. And I think, you know, we have to, or the Democratic Party, anybody who understands that this is a crisis and the Michigan attorney, if you recall the, the Michigan father, who uh, the Michigan mother and father, father, who were actually charged and sent to jail for what their son did in Michigan not too long ago. She was on and said, it's an easy fix. <laughs> she was on saying, she, she says, this is not something that can, I mean, th this is not something that is beyond our control. Right. We have the control. We just won't do it. Right. So if I'm the Democratic Party, I'm hammering the Republican Party or anybody who, under, who, who doesn't understand that this is a fixable problem. We saw the decline when the AR-15s were taken off the shelf with Clinton. We saw it. So y'all can keep playing the game, 
But I'm here to tell you, man. I, I tell you yeah. what, Vi and, and Talib. Next time somebody storms the Capitol, let them go in. <laughs> Just let them in. So the so Congress can understand sure. what what Not we what let we're doing. Say if you're a Democrat, you are free to leave. If you're a Republican, you stay <laughs> right here and fight. Because this is your people fighting. coming in, man. It's your people. Right. Talk it's to them. People. They're not. Talk they are. Them. They just visiting. Democrats, line up, leave. Republicans, sit your ass down and wait on them. I'm telling wait you, on. The, the the government really just what needs to happen is the government just needs to go ahead, give these gun manufacturers a subsidy because that's, that's really it. all they want, and quietly, very very quietly just start not making these anymore you know what yeah. i mean it's yeah. like bottom it, bottom line is you know to lead i mean this is all about money i mean yeah, they, fund their, they, they fund that's what I'm they saying. fund the campaign give them the money they, they fund the campaign they would lose in revenue you you all are all you all are great at bailing out corporations so yep. bail out this bail out this gun industry for the money that they wouldn't make you know that they would have made selling these ars and get them the hell out of uh, out of the public's the general public's hand. This has been proven that it is not something that the general public can handle. Yeah. This is yeah. what we get. We get sensitive ass little young white boys gonna go and start terrorizing people because somebody called them a name. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. stupid now. You know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah. But, but I do want to say one last thing, and then we'll move on. And this is also based on uh, the video where the woman's talking about the culture, if these were black kids, you know. Uh, in general, you know, kids live in a silo, and we always have, even going back to when we were in school. You know, we, we, you know and unfortunately, when stuff is going on, unless you're talking to your parents about it, they never know, okay? But now you've got social media, you've got these chat rooms, you've got um, – these organizations that can get to them, which makes this situation a whole lot dangerous than it was pre-internet. So it really is, as you, you use the term to lead, radicalized. It is really almost like domestic terrorism being radicalized in high schools and middle schools. So I think they need to, if, if, if the government is so serious about domestic terrorism, because this is what happened. This was domestic terror. So if you're so serious about domestic terrorism, then fight it. Mm -hmm. And quit saying there's nothing you can do about it. It's a mental health issue. No, that's not the case. That's not the case. Maybe he had a mental problem, but honestly, this was all about inaction. Yeah. This is all about inaction and, and, and what you allow. And what you allow, you become. And this is what we become. And it's unfortunate because half of us <laughs> have to sit back and watch. Well, we know what this, and that's what makes it so frustrating. And that's why, unfortunately, I mean, I hate to do these shows, man. Every time, you know, I've been doing this podcast for a while, and, and, and there's so many shootings and mass shootings that are all caused by pretty much where you can just say, okay, it's an AR-15. It's going to be an AR. It's going to be an AR. Right. All right. Uh, love your thoughts, y'all. Go to castropolis.net. Um, I've sent the link out to a couple of people I know in law enforcement and asked them to you know, give me some feedback, especially on how it's being handled in Winder. Uh, definitely, I think there's more to it, and I think it's going to come out. I, y'all, uh, next subject, man, Kamala Harris and uh, VP Kamala Harris and and former, you know who, I don't have to say his name. Every time I say his name, it's like Beetlejuice. Yeah, at least you, you, know, said, I don't... At least you said Palmer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, sometimes I call him president. I, I don't know. It's, it, I'm just going to say Beetlejuice, okay? Uh, they are uh, actually debating. this As we take, is this Tuesday? For now. Uh, September 10th, 9 p.m. They're going to be in Philly, National uh, Constitution Center. 90 minutes. God <laughs> damn. We got to do I won't. <laughs> but <laughs> ABC is hosting. David Muir, Lindsey Davis will moderate. Uh, if y'all want to watch it, you can watch it. Uh, ABC News Live, Disney. I know you're mad, by so sorry about saying Disney and Hulu, because <laughs> they didn't, and you had because you have Directv. Yep. Um, uh, CNN is going to simulcast. Just FYI, um, there will be no live audience, which will at least give us a little bit of mercy. And uh, just want to know y'all, and and I'll start with you, Talib, since I started with Vi on the last thing. 
Uh, first of all, what do you tell Kamala going into this? And 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 lastly, who who do you think is going to come out on top? Go ahead. I'd say is uh, study uh, Trump's debate performances and watch how he does. Uh, you know what he's going to talk about at this point. You know, whatever he comes with, laugh. <laughs> and what a short term because it's so stupid is what he said is going to be so stupid and then yeah. you know come with the facts in plain English you know don't mansplain none of this stuff you know don't give us that lectury kind of voice you need to just talk to people talk to the camera don't come as a politician come as a people come as people you know yeah. and give it the real give us the real this is what okay I know I knew he was going to talk about unemployment so this is the real numbers people you know and just rattle them off give them real quick so what he's saying can does he even know the numbers like that he doesn't you know yeah. he, uh, you know maybe take a little play out of the Jasmine Crockett book <laughs> you know what I mean like yeah. look be very exact be concise be to the point do not give these vague you know you know the, the, those those vague answers that Kamala gives are the death of her yeah I agree you know what, and, and and really not just hers a lot of politicians yes do and try to get away with the same thing right I agree. so keep it simple keep it simple please keep it simple okay who do you think is gonna come out on top well, if this wasn't Bizarro World, it'd be obvious, but, <laughs> you know, um, it's, you know, of course, everybody's going to be for their person. So I think it's going to give us, um, I think it's going to just strengthen the fact that this is going to be a 50-50 election. You know, yeah. this is going to be 51-49, you know, okay. that's the okay. way I see it. Okay, go to you, Vi. I would say, like, uh, what is that? Study it. I would study the Hillary Clinton with the debate he had with Hillary. Study that and look at what she said instead of looking at what she said. Put yourself in her position and say what Kamala would say. Mm. And be serious. Don't laugh, because they want you to laugh if they can talk about that. Just be serious. And just Man. state facts. Because he's going to lie about everything. Everything he lied about, I don't even try to just state facts. If you try to change the subject, just state facts. And then go at him for some of the stuff like abortion. Go ahead and buy abortion. Right. Make him change. Because he's trying right. to change his stance. He's, Make he's him change his stance. On it. He's wishy-washy. Make him change his stance. Because he's losing yeah. people when he changes his stance. Yeah. Go and buy this, buy this gun by the gun. Go and buy that. Ask him, like, do you back up what Vance said? That this is a way of life? Yeah. Make him uncomfortable. Cause he don't want to be a cop and be smart and he does not like smart people you don't he don't like smart black women no he doesn't so if you do any of those things he doesn't like smart women that will ruin <laughs> that will really piss him off so just yeah just just piss him off yeah because yeah. that's why they don't want the mic that's why they want the mic muted because they don't want you to hear what he gonna say mumbling and stuff can i can i say this why mm -hmm. and people are asking why the harris campaign wanted the mics open because in a lot of cases, they felt that the stupid stuff He's that say. he would say would would actually, uh, how do you say it, expose him as a misogynist. That's so what, so they, they were like, hey, leave the mics open. Yeah. So we want to expose his stupidity. Yeah, because that's why he's losing people. Go, the people he's losing are the people saying, oh, we're tired of this stuff. Yeah. Not yeah. that they're against him. They just said they're tired of the foolishness. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Hey, hey, let me let me say, um, and, and I agree with both you guys, man. I, I think the main thing that she needs to do is rely on her history as a prosecutor. She needs to do what she does in those Senate hearings. If she does that the way she did, what's his name? Uh, the first uh, uh, AG that Trump had, uh, oh, country boy. When, from he, said South yeah, when Ooh, he said you're making me nervous. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she, need, she needs to go that route. 
You know, the same way she did the frat boy um, Supreme Court justice. Yeah, Rathersburg. Uh, yeah, the, the same way she went after him. You know, she needs to do that. I mean, I, I think she needs to go hard. And she needs to, you know, the same way she's gone, she talks about going after the uh, the drug companies and, you know, the housing manufacturers back in San Francisco. She's going to have to pull all her history of dealing with the toughest opponents as a prosecutor against him. Now, I agree with you. You know, Trump lies every right. every time he opens his mouth, right. he's lying. Right. It's like it's like I was watching this week and the facts are obvious in a lot of cases. The unemployment numbers were sky high. But they're not now. They're, they're not down now. now. They were up over six percent. OK, they had gotten that point to that point. A lot of it had to do with COVID, but he wasn't doing anything to help. OK, the Biden administration came in. It's down at four point three percent. OK, there are a lot of lies that he tells because he doesn't understand. He's just getting it and twisting it because, you know, deep down inside, you know, Trump is just a how do you call it? He's a showman. That's all he is. And, and you know, P.T. Barnum, you've called him that before, Tlaib. <laughs> P.T. Barnum <laughs> never <laughs> told the fucking truth. <laughs> when did P.T. Barnum tell it like it was? The only time is when he said there is one born every minute. <laughs> yes. He wants you to be a sucker, man. And a lot of these people, that's what I'm saying. The people who are following him are suckers. They are. If you, you know, don't call the military suckers. The people who are voting for him are suckers. They're because they buying the crap, you know. So so we'll see. I, I, I just think she needs to be, she needs to go into, you know, prosecutor mode and stay there and focus. But she needs to know her facts. I agree with you, Tlaib. Don't be fucking vague. Right. You can kill him on the facts. Right. Just be factual. Right. And then let the journalists come back when they do the fact check at the end and say, hey, fact check his ass every moment you can. But you got to know what you're talking about. Right. But I tell you who would have really I tell you who would have really killed his ass. I don't know if I'd vote for him, but Gavin Newsom and Trump, (laughs) Gavin Newsom would slay his ass just like he did DeSantis. Yeah, but Gavin Newsom's so crooked. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> There's a price to pay. Right, for Kevin right, Newsom. right. But he's a hell of a debater. Yes, that is for sure. That's for sure. Because he, he <laughs> fucking, you know, the other, I mean, he just slayed DeSantis. He, I mean, I think he's part of the reason why DeSantis is out of the race. Yeah. Because <laughs> he exposed them. You know, we are too desensitized to Trump yeah. and his antics. Yes, we you are. You know, we don't really... It's to the point where we really don't call, even though we they, people do call Trump out on this crap, nobody really challenges, you know, nobody really, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we don't I make agree. it as big of a deal as it should be, you know, yeah. um, because he's, he's shameful. Yeah. He's shameful about it. Yeah. And he's blatant and he's obvious and it's like, Come on, bro. So, uh, <laughs> so, so I, I say, I say she, I, I give her the edge, y'all, because she's a prosecutor. Yeah, she but should. if she goes, if she goes in there not using her her prosecutorial yeah. skills, then she's gonna get her ass kicked. Yeah. If she if she slips and allows him to get to her emotionally, it's over. That's what I'm saying. I, I think I don't know. I think both you guys said. Her emotions can't show. She got to right. be, she got, she's, you know, maybe somebody, you said laugh. Uh, uh-uh. I said, I, I, I think she's, I think she's got to be at the beginning, maybe laugh and, and you know, kind of, you know, but, but when it, when it's on, mm-hmm. it's a game. It, it, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it, it's game on game face and, and just destroy. Them. Yeah. Uh, real quick, y'all. Uh, one one last thing, and, and I want to play this. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I do want to get to your your big takeaways for the week. Um, here we go. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. A New York judge has delayed the sentencing in the criminal case against former President Donald Trump in order to ensure the court is seen as politically impartial. Judge Juan Marchand set the new sentencing date for November 26. That's a few weeks after the election. This is the case where Trump was convicted of falsifying business records to hide payments to Stormy Daniels. I'm going to start this, and I'm going to say this is some bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. 
<laughs> and, and I, I do believe, and, and this is a conspiracy. I, I'm going to start this by saying I like to use facts. I like to use facts, but this is my conspiracy theory. I think this has to do with his daughter. It I does. think the judge. I do too. I, I think too. they, uh, you know, when 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 Jordan in Senate, in the Senate, Jim Jordan, I think he will just say in Congress. I don't know if he House or Senate. But when Jim Jordan subpoenaed or tried to subpoena her, I think the judge, I think what's his name? Marshawn, the judge in, in New York, he wants to keep his daughter out of it. So he's going along to keep his daughter from being pulled into this mess. And I think that's, I, I think that's, in, in my opinion, I think that's a disservice to the American people. That's a, that's a disservice to the people in New York. Do the shit the way you are supposed to do it as if you would give or pass down judge ju justice to anybody. Why does he, I mean, look at all the, can, can you not see the path of breaks? <laughs> I mean, you know what? Let me, let me go shoot somebody. No, I'm not going to I'm Hey, for the, for the record, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but I'm just saying, let me go, 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 go commit a crime and then decide, okay, I'm gonna run for president. So when they catch me, and they come after me and say, hey, I'm a presidential candidate. Yep. I'm running for office. office. So huh? Yeah, well, that's I mean, what they're doing. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is what he did is is not as important as him running for office? Nope. Right. Not in office already, you know. Not in office. Right. But running for office. Running. And we're yep. supposed to give you passes. We're supposed to. This is not. I mean, they, they, you know. they. I mean, how can you say this is election interference when the dude put this on himself and even this week admitted he was interfering? He said it in an interview with Fox that he felt that his interfering with the election was part of what he should be doing anyway. He right. admitted it. Then he admitted that he lost. <laughs> A lot of pissed folks yes. only said that. I, I lost my whisker. Oh, so you did lose the head. So I know we're talking about the Stormy Daniels hush money thing. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's like, this is some bullshit. I mean, it's like Donald Trump privilege. I mean, but they've given this dude so much privilege. I'm like, damn, he absolutely was right. When he said he could go on Fifth Avenue, wherever mm -hmm. he said, and shoot somebody, <laughs> yeah. he was, ab that's the best, honestly, that's the most uh, truthful thing he's ever said. So are you thinking that this is treatment that even a Rockefeller wouldn't get or a Vanderbilt? Or no, you I mean, know I, what I, I mean? I think, you... I think anybody like Trump like mm -hmm. Trump is a gangster, y'all. When when he knows shit about people, he goes after them. And yep. I think he went after this judge. And I think he goes after people and then all of a sudden yep. shit changes. It does. It does. He look, goes after look, them. I mean, I mean, he, he, he may not have the National Enquirer, but somebody... Oh, well, he's <laughs> he had got, the National he, Enquirer. Well, he got, oh, he's had them. He got the power of Congress behind him now, though. They do whatever, well, he, he, they, do whatever, they, whatever he tell them to do, look, they do. I think he's got something on all of them, man. I think he when he needs shit, he goes after people. Okay, so and, then... And you don't hear about it, but, th but things change and go in his favor. I mean, it's, it's kind of typical... You know, Marlon Brando, good fella kind of shit to me. So, and that's what he wants to be. That's all what he's always yes. wanted to be. He's always wanted, yeah. you know, and, and you could tell that from the way that he does business. You could tell it from the people he's doing business with. You know, he thinks he's a he's an oligarchy, you know, Russian Italiano mob type, you know, yeah. that, that has that's, all this juice and power. And he, he's the Teflon Don. That's, you know, so. But, but you so see, then, even, I'm glad you mentioned because this week, uh, Putin came out and said he supported Kamala Harris. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and, and, and the reason he said this is only so that his buddy Trump can come out and call her comrade mm -hmm. Kamala. Comrade Kamala. Because because in the meantime, the Russians are already. Interfering with the election. Oh yeah, and I you heard about the, um, or Trump. the Russian time. And they got uh, the and, Russian. And they don't got, uh, the Russian they don't times, got right? Oh, go ahead. I didn't know. What, I don't know what you. They don't got. And they got, and they got caught. They got caught. Yeah, they, got, they got caught. Biden they caught red hand. They caught him out on. <laughs> they got caught paying, you know, Republican, yeah, the, you know, surrogates. Yes, mm -hmm. go ahead. That's please. what I'm talking about. It's like, yo, man, they, the Russian government 
close to the I think it was like six million dollars. Yeah. For the yeah, media yeah. company to uh, to to run these um, fake it was ten, stories. Ten yes. million. Ten, ten million. million. They're yes. making deposits of four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for you know mm. off of stories mm. that they have you know two thousand likes. Ah, great. Mm. So so on, so in, in the in the words in the words of W George W Bush they use a strategery yeah <laughs> that's what they do <laughs> and no one believes and the sad thing about it the stuff he, you. it's worth it but none of it is sticking yeah but it's it's sticking to the base the base. Cause, cause now, I, I mean, at, at this point, man, it's, but it's the base, close as But my thing, the base gonna vote yeah. for no matter what. Look, yeah, you know, I agree. These are I the agree. same people that, that you know that believe in Santa Claus, no, you know, guys, and that there is an Easter Bunny. <laughs> Wait like a minute, Santa Claus ain't real. Like the front line Republicans saying, yeah. his problem is you're not picking up any new voters. Yeah, you're not. You're losing because you're not picking up any new voters. You just, you're just keeping your yeah. base happy. We yeah. know your base well, gonna vote for you. You need to pick up new voters. You're not yeah. picking up any new voters. And that's his problem. Yeah. All right, Bob, since you're talking, I'm gonna go to you. What you got big for the week, man? We gotta wrap this up. I read everything big for the week besides uh my man Trent. He's a liar, man. I mean, why I don't understand why we keep entertaining this guy. Yeah, why, why we, we keep, keep believing so much power. Why we yeah. are so shocked about the words that he say? Why we yeah. are so shocked when he said I lost by whisker. And the guy, the Mega guy said, you lost? So why did I go up there January the 6th? Why did I lose all my money? And mm -hmm. you lost? He's the, one of the Mega guys, said, he said, I might not vote for Kamala, but I'm going to make sure you don't win this election. Because yeah. he's pissed. Because yeah. they really believe this. They really believe that he would. And then him for the final say, I lost. That's the worst thing he could have said, yeah. that he lost. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I That's agree. the I'm worst thing he could say. Go to Italy. Uh, I just got a couple of uh, headlines today. Gotcha. Uh, Inc. Magazine says that uh, has an article that said scientists just discovered that eating blueberries will make you smarter and significantly improve your memory. So, uh oh, oh shit! Yeah. I need to be doing that. Yeah, exactly. they're working on me. <laughs> I eat blueberries. <laughs> No, Where they get them blueberries are, from? No, those I get are, some of them. Then. Those are crunch berries, right? Those are crunch berries. I'm talking about blueberries, <laughs> like the fruit. I, what else you got to leave? What's the next one? Um, the Miami Herald uh, has an article that says nocturnal creatures with a triangular head found lurking in a cave, and it's a new species. Oh damn! Yeah. yeah so be on the lookout for if you're in Miami. <laughs> don't be around no caves you know there's, there's a chance dude, you got some new dude, little thing the blacks don't go in caves anyway <laughs> some x-files there's some x-files shit come on man we're not interested <laughs> we're not interested was in there to leave to leave is to leave is coming from the x the x-files you know again, you these, know, are, are, these are and and Headlines that just kind of catch my attention, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to find okay, I'm, 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 okay, you piqued my interest, you know. Let's see what it is. But here's one Muller that should, and Sculler, yeah, however the name. Um, but uh, I, I, I got to, I got to do it for this man. Uh, I my my one for the week, and I, I got to do it for this. Hold on, you can't use this song anymore. That's the wow. message from a judge in Atlanta ruling in favor of Isaac Hayes' family who threatened to sue Donald Trump several weeks ago over his campaign's use of the track at rallies. It was co-written by Hayes and became a hit in 1966 for Sam and Dave. While the judge says the campaign must stop using the song, for now the ruling doesn't impact videos already recorded. The family says they asked the campaign to stop playing the song multiple times. Hayes' son, Isaac III, added that his father would not even support Trump because of the former president's character. I know my father would not want that man playing his music. A uh, man's been found liable of sexual abuse and some of the things that he says about women, especially black women and women of color, especially in this election. And so we have to take a stand that we want to separate ourselves from someone with Donald Trump's character. Attorneys for artists including Beyonce, the Foo Fighters, and Celine Dion have requested the Trump campaign also stop playing their songs at rallies or in videos. Got to give a shout out to Isaac Hayes yes. III. Yes. ATL.
He don't play, man. Uh, he come after you on Twitter. Uh, it ain't no joke. Uh, he, he for real. Yeah, and his fan base <laughs> app is kicking butt too. So you know, say so yeah. shouts out to him. He ain't joking. Yeah, he ain't joking. And and the last real quick last thing, man. Uh, and, and shout out to Rich Homie Quan. Mm. Uh, and and uh, thirty something. What thirty four? Wow. You know, and and I know you know about Rich Homie Quan not because I listened. But because, you know, he was always doing Fort Valley's homecomings, a lot of homecomings, man, in, in, in the ATL, uh, lives in ATL. As a matter of fact, they were doing vigils at his home uh, these last few days. Any any quick thoughts about Rich Homie Kwan? Yeah, he was um, gone too soon, man. You know, another one going yeah. too soon. You know, yeah, it's we, just amazing. we've gotten desensitized to certain types of lifestyles. You know, yeah. his girl said, they said that, you know, his girl would just left him there on the couch like this was typical behavior, you know, wow. and didn't even think, of, you know. So to, to see that you are that messed up on a consistent basis where you can be in one spot for six hours, eight hours, yeah. not yeah. moving, and I don't think anything about that, that's troubling. Mm-hmm. It is. It's unfortunate, man, and you're absolutely right. Too many, too many artists are into the Percocet, uh, this combination, mm-hmm. you know, and of 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 just drugs that are toxic, man. That's taking them out, and you're you're, you're absolutely right. I, I don't think uh, because it becomes part of who they are, I, I think people take for granted that they're going to see them again uh, yeah. instead of trying to get them help. So mm-hmm. you know, rest in power. Rich homie Kwan to his fans, to his family, you know, the folks who know him, uh, you know, uh, condolences, yeah. condolences. Love your thoughts. Y'all, y'all go to uh, castropolis.net, choose the people poll, uh, leave us a voice message. I'll p- play back the best, of course. And and don't forget, go to castropolis.net, support us. Uh, you can give, you can subscribe, uh, but just go to C-A-S-T-R-O-P-O-L-I-S.net um, and, and definitely give us some support. And if you've always listened to us, uh, and you've never really watched the show. Now you can watch the show on YouTube. You can watch, well, you've always been on YouTube, but TikTok, the show is now on TikTok, the full show, uh, as well as uh, Spotify. There's a video version on Spotify. Just look for us at This Is The G Podcast, y'all, at This Is The G Podcast. Let's go ahead and take a break. Uh, we'll come back with the tea uh, with Tanya B. Thank you, fellas. Peace. Peace out, brother. time y'all sipping the tea with tanya b all right all right all right my people here we go it is your girl tanya b with your gt entertainment news for this week let me just get right to it and we must start out on the 5,000 black baptist church altars of atlanta and beyond saying rest in peace to brazilian musician Sergio Mendez, remember in the 80s, the song Never Gonna Let You Go? Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Kwan, who really repped the Atlanta hip hop scene, tragically lost his life to an alleged drug overdose. And we also want to send up prayers to Jazzy Jeff and his family for the loss of his mother, Sarah. Get well wishes, J. Anthony Brown in the hospital. He's got congestive heart failure. Take care of yourself. And let's not say much about the Braxtons exploiting Tracy's death Tamar and that man you know what go just go sit down never mind go over there in the corner with Tyrese and 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 Neo and R. Kelly and the rest of those fools okay dumb donkey of the week did you see fight night on Peacock baby baby you better watch it if you can Taraji P. Henson Terrence Howard Samuel L. Jackson Kevin Hart need I say more no <laughs> Adele, people are scrambling to get those last few 
Las Vegas residency tickets for Adele. She said she's taking a break, a very, like a Sade long break. She wants to get married to super agent Rich Paul. She wants to have a baby and move back to the UK. Now, Rich Paul is known to be a cheater. I don't know how that's going to work out, Adele. So you might want to rethink that one. Get well wishes again. Go up to singer Freddie Jackson. No, he does not have HIV. He's not on drugs. He came clean finally talking about his years long battle with kidney disease. He may need to get a transplant and he's also working. Working now with the National Kidney Foundation. Paula Abdul, girl, please do. You want to sit down on stage talking about this is what 62 looks like. I don't know what it looks like in your world, but honey, if you got to be on the stage and have somebody bring you oxygen, cancel, no, cancel the tour dates, and that's exactly what she did. I don't know. Jamie Foxx is coming to a small screen near you. He's coming actually to the ATL October 3rd through the 5th. He's going to be recording what's going to be a comedy special. And I hear he's going to actually be transparent about his health issues. Who's that girl? Eve's that girl. The singer. Well, I guess you really call her a songwriter, rapper, actress. She's got a book that comes out next week chronicling her journey. She said she went from being a lazy stripper, not a stripper, but a lazy stripper. And now she's got a billionaire husband. And uh, she comes out and does a date here and there. But uh, she is that girl. She has a very interesting story. You might want to check it out. And Sade, Sade, Sade. She's back. Hasn't had out a new album in over 10 years. It's been six years since we even heard anything from her. Now she's coming back on the 22nd of November. She is lending her voice to support the trans community. Her son Isaac is a member of that community and she's very supportive. Uh, working with the nonprofit called Red Hot. They've been around for years and raised millions of dollars. The song she's releasing on the 22nd of November. Oh, right in time for Thanksgiving. It is called Young Lion. And I'm telling you, honey, Sade... He said, I got any more notes here for you? Oh, I got to tell you about this young man named Obi Nefado. He was on, for you young people, on this show, Dawson's Creek. Had a horrible accident, lost both of his legs, and now he's uh, gone on to glory and, and lost his life. And I'm not going to talk about Dancing with the Stars because, much like me, nobody cares. Anybody you see on this show, especially this season, you know they need the money. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. It's your girl, Tanya B. This is how we do it each and every week right here inside this is a g podcast don't forget to like subscribe and share check out the youtube channel and remember the bird wire on demand 24 7 at castropolis.net tommy b back to you oh yeah thank you so much tanya b appreciate you yes good report yeah thanks to all of you for listening and supporting this is the g podcast um you can check us out and support us at castropolis.net that's c-a-s-t-r-o P-O-L-I-S dot net. And also, if you've always listened, uh, now you can watch us uh, weekly. We're on YouTube. Uh, we've been on YouTube, but now we're on TikTok. Full, ep- full episodes uh, starting uh, a few weeks ago uh, on TikTok and also on Spotify. Just follow us. Make sure you follow us on YouTube, TikTok, and Spotify at This Is The G Podcast. The full thing, y'all, at This Is The G Podcast. And, and I want to say this uh, to wrap this episode. You know, call your congressional representative. Demand that they take action in these school shootings. Don't let them give you information and only thoughts and prayers. These folks can actually do something about this. Uh, there are sensible solutions that have worked in the past uh, that we've, we mentioned within this episode. It comes down to where their interests lie. And if you have kids in school, if you have grandkids, if you have nieces, nephews, take action. Demand more. Demand more from your representatives. Okay? And with that, episode 236 is in the can. Have a great week, y'all. Peace. And and the power is yours, y'all. That's why I say peace and power to the people. Have a great week. You've been listening to This is the G Podcast. This is the G Podcast is a production of the Castropolis Podcast Network. Thanks for listening.